hello everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new i'm tamra we're gonna spend a beautiful sunday together it is finally gorgeous outside after days and days of rain i honestly thought the rain was never gonna stop <laughs> but we've got a beautiful day to share with you guys today i decided to pick the camera up and share a little bit of our life with you guys today does look a little bit different we do not have to worry about Sunday dinner at my house because they're having a meal at church this Sunday. So I just had to take a few extra things. I was in charge of rolls for the meal. Um, I, so I made those the day before and we'll just take everything when we leave. We're also going to be working in the garden. We're going to get everything started and I'm so, so ready you guys like I've talked about this you know since winter I'm just ready for the warmer weather I'm ready to get my hands dirty and be in the garden it is just so therapeutic to me and something about growing your own food for your family I don't know it is just um, it's I'm just all in my vibes right now and especially with you know after the rain and then these nice few days we've been having I have just been soaking it all in and really enjoying it but I've got a few things to get done this morning and then we will get ready for church and then after church we will work on getting started in the garden but I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get the day started.
I'm gonna go ahead and get some biscuits going in the oven for breakfast. These are my favorite biscuits to keep on hand. I just keep them in the freezer and I can pop out however many I need to at a time. I'll make sure to have a video linked down below for you guys if you're interested. I'm going to get these in and then while these are in the oven, these are gonna take about 25 to 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in the shower, get myself ready, and then I work on getting myself ready for church and then I'll also make sure Winston's up and ready as well. And then I need to just work on making the bed. And then Winston has asked for egg and cheese biscuits. So I will cook his eggs and go ahead and get his biscuit sandwiches together. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm
It's just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. Nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars. I wanna take a trip to Mars. Nothing can break me. Nothing can break me. Okay, we are back home from church. We ran to Lowe's, as you guys seen. Um, we're gonna start putting stuff in the raised bed today. So unfortunately, where I was sick, I lost everything that I had started from seed. I had one pepper plant that I was trying to save and it I couldn't, but I couldn't get downstairs and take care of that stuff where I was sick and um, it, it does, it, it's terrible, it sucks, I hate, you know, but this is, we're gonna start fresh. So I'm going to try, so I'm doing something a little bit different this year, y'all know I want to expand um, 
there's some things going on behind the scenes that I can't talk to you guys about yet. Um, but we're, you know, hoping and praying that everything goes good in our way. And, you know, God's got a plan where he wants us to be. So we'll see where that is. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, but I want to expand the garden this year. That's something, you know, that I've talked to you guys about. But we just don't know. We don't know stuff yet. But I am going to take advantage. I wasn't going to do anything in the raised bed, um, but I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of it. Um, gosh, I wish I could tell y'all what's going on, but I just can't. I can't. Um, <laughs> um, but anyway, so today I'm going to start potatoes, but the potatoes I don't do in the raised bed. I do those in containers. Um, so we're going to start those. I picked up a couple packs at Lowe's when I went. And then I'm going to start my bean, my green beans. I've got Kentucky Wonder um, pole beans. I've just had them soaking overnight. So we're gonna do those. And then I'm using the Bear Mountain Seed Company. I got some peas from them. I will make sure to have their um, website linked down below. Um, their seeds are the ones I started and I hate it. I got sick and I just, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't be down there and take care of that stuff. So it's unfortunate, um, but we're going to start, you know, start fresh. So I'm going to do these peas. I'm excited to try peas. That's something I have not done. So we're going to um, try these. I've just soaked them as well overnight. No, just kidding. These are the peas. Soaked them overnight. These are left over from last year. I saved some because I wanted to see if I could try to grow some. So this is going to be an experiment. Um, last year, I was given from a friend some purple whole peas or beans or something. You know, they're like the, per I, sh I think I shared them in a video sometime last year. Um, but they were really good. We really enjoyed them. So I saved a few. So I'm going to try, I'm going to try to start these this year. And then I'm also going to try carrots. So I might add more stuff to the raised bed later, but we're gonna start with these um, right now and hope for the best. Y'all know it's a learning process for me. You know, we're trial and error, a lot of trial and error. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna do a rainbow blend carrots. And um, these are heirloom, same thing from the about Bear Mountain Seed Company. I can't talk, y'all. I'll have their website linked down below. Make sure y'all go check them out. So, this is going to help me today. So, we're going to take all this out and we're going to get started. It is literally the best day ever. It is so beautiful outside. It's in the 80s. So, we're going to go get this started and I'm so ready. I'm really hoping, hoping that I can do better. Now, you know, I hate that I lost everything, but we're just going to have to start over. I'm we didn't fail, it's just a learning process. So let's get to learning some more. Okay, let's go. Let's get Mac. The wind is super strong, so I may end up having to do a voiceover off the, over at this, but we'll see. So I've been composting in here over the off season, and I've got a ton of pumpkin coming up, um, but we're just gonna dig those up. And I, cause like I said, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do in here, but I'm gonna take advantage of it and try to grow something. So we'll see. Um, I've also got potatoes that have started popping up in here as well. These are all potatoes. So I'm gonna try to transplant these in the buckets and see if I can get these um, to stay alive. Uh, this one's starting to fall over, so I don't know, we'll see. Um, but I need to top all this off, you know, with fresh soil and then we'll figure out a game plan. I don't have any kind of trellis or anything yet, but I'll, you know, add that later once stuff starts coming up. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna do the green beans, the peas, carrots. That's what we're gonna start in here. Um, and those purple whole peas. We're gonna start with that in here and just see how it goes. Um, and then I just use buckets for my potatoes but we're just gonna go ahead and get this going.
You could not hear me at all because of the wind, but I'm going to go ahead and get the potatoes going. I ended up getting three different kinds of potatoes from Lowe's. I picked up gold potatoes, red skin potatoes, and purple potatoes. This is our third year doing potatoes. I wouldn't say we have had like super success, you know, like bountiful of potatoes, but we get a little bit and, you know, they're still... Honestly, it's really fun, um, you know, to grow. So I'm, um, you know, still gonna keep doing it. I just did one bag per pot, and then the one pot we had just pulled out all of the um, scraps that had, you know, the potato scraps that had started sprouting. Um, I'm curious to see how those do. Um, I, you know, I, I have heard that you probably might not get anything. Um, from them where they were store-bought so I don't know we'll see um, you know it popped up so nature's doing its thing so we'll just let hopefully like nature continue doing its thing um, they still seem to be holding up just with transplanting them so fingers crossed but Winston, while I'm doing this Winston is going through and pulling out any of the green that was left in the in the compost raised bed um, Honestly, you guys, that soil in there is absolutely amazing, and I'm so glad that I decided to, you know, do that over the off-season because I really think it really helped enrich that soil that was in there, and I'm hoping, I keep saying, you know, hoping, praying, fingers crossed that we can have, you know, a little bit more of a successful garden this year with, you know, that, so... Um, he cleaned out all of that, and then now we're just going to add on. I ended up getting 10 bags total, um, but I did use a couple of the bags for the potatoes. Um, but it ended up working out perfect, so we're just going to top all this off and then start adding in our um, seeds. I decided to do a little different route this year. Um, I you know, I know I'm going to be trellising a lot of what is, you know, the start of in here. So I wanted to kind of do that on the outside of it. And then, you know, I did have to worry about the sun as well. Because as that stuff grows up, you know, you don't want it to shade the stuff that's in the center. So I ended up doing peas and the green beans around the outside. And um, did just the carrots in like a little section of the carrots I didn't do too many carrots that's something that I'm just experimenting um, with so I just did a little patch of the carrots Full stop. can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time morning evening and midnight such 
such a wonderful delight For go Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found Okay, my phone died. I've got everything planted, but I ended up having extra, I ended up having extra peas and I have extra green beans. So I took a pot and put some soil in it and did four green beans in there. And I still have more. Plus, I have more peas. So, I think I'm going to have to go back to Lowe's and get some more soil. And then I can do them. But, yeah. I'll show y'all what I've got out there in a second. Um, I'm going to marinate. So, just, since it feels so good outside, we're going to grill chicken tonight. So, I'm going to go ahead and marinate that chicken the sink keeps uh dripping um i'm gonna marinate marinate that chicken get it in the fridge that way i can you know sit and marry and do its thing for a little bit and then i'll take y'all back outside um i'm really not doing any more like house chores or anything we're just gonna have pretty much a chill afternoon but i will show y'all supper i'm gonna make some sort of sides but i have no clue i'm just gonna throw it together i know i've got carrots in there I've got potatoes. I have a bag of squash and zucchini in the freezer that I thought about, you know, just sauteing up with some butter, putting some cheese on that. That may be a side dish I probably will fix. Um, but yeah, y'all can just come hang out supper with us and then I'll show y'all everything in a second. I did find a new marinade that I'm trying. I'll have it linked down below. That's what I'm using for the chicken. It sounds really good. Um, so I will, Put that in the description box so that way y'all can have that i'm excited to see the comment or the reviews on the recipe said that it turned out really good so i'm just going to loosely follow that recipe um and get these marinated and get them put in the fridge it's probably going to be about an hour for them to sit in the fridge um just by the time you know we're ready to cook to eat
the wind was not working in my favor to chat with you guys. So we're going to do another voiceover so I can show you what I got. So this first pot, I have the four extra green beans. This yellow bucket, I've got the scrap potatoes. And then we've got gold potatoes, red skin potatoes. And the last bucket is the purple potatoes. And then those, as they grow up, I'll just keep topping them off until the buckets are full. And then they'll, con you know, continue doing their thing. We've got a row of peas in the side, a row of green beans in the back. And then I did another row of peas on the other side. That container right there underneath that, that is the carrots. I didn't have any wood or anything to lay down flat, so I'm hoping that that will still work. That way it keeps them all, you know, not from moving and let them start germinating. And then we've got a little patch of just that purple whole peas right there. And then we have that little square that is left over that I can add to as, you know, the month go months go on. And then my friend gave me two raspberry plants and I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to get them going because they, you know, were pretty dead. But we said, why not? Let's try it. She planted some at her house as well. And so far they have been doing really good. They've got a lot of green coming in. So I have high hopes for those. I've not ever tried, you know, growing my own raspberries. So I'm excited. Phew, I am looking rough but I'm happy to go ahead and get that stuff going hopefully hopefully I can do better this year I just wanted to try something different in the bed and then we'll figure out where everything else is um, when time comes um, but yeah I'm hoping hoping that I can do better I've never done carrots and I've never I tried green beans last year. They didn't do good. Um, so, we'll see. I'm not done peas yet. And then, you know, I've not tried everything that I put in there today. I have not successfully either, you know, started or tried it all. So, we'll see. Another year. Winston's riding his four-wheeler. Another year of... You know, just hoping for the best and trying. That's all you can do. All you can do is try and learn and grow every single year. And that's, you know, what I'm trying. Trying to grow as much as I can from a family. So, we're excited. I really, really wish I could tell y'all. I wish I could. But, anyways, we're just going to hang out for a little bit till supper i'll show y'all supper and then that is gonna be it for me today <sighs> thanks for hanging out with us hope y'all enjoyed it as well and i will see y'all in the next one bye guys
Cause I've been down, down, down I've been down so down